When Jake Paul enters the boxing ring with Mike Tyson in July, the two will be setting a record that might take years to break. But before we find out what it is, let's quickly go through the fight rules and conditions which were recently agreed upon by the two teams. The clash, which will be sanctioned under the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulations, will be contested over eight two-minute rounds with both men using 14-ounce gloves. Knockouts are allowed, with the result going on both of their professional records, which make things way more exciting than they already were. Also, many believe two-minute rounds are a huge plus for Tyson, who won't have to worry as much about cardio as he would have if he were to fight for eight three-minute rounds. Will two-minute rounds and 14 oz gloves really favor Mike Tyson? Here's what Jeff Mayweather has to say about it. Do you think that these two stipulations were made in order to favor Mike Tyson? Obviously, the older fighter, his stamina is not going to be there. And obviously, as hard as Jake hits, 14-ounce uh, gloves are going to take a little bit of that sting off when he hits Tyson. To be honest, I think it's probably the other way. Oh, come on now. Yes. You think the two-minute rounds are going to help Jake? No, uh, two-minute uh, two rounds is probably going to help both of them. But the thing is, is that Tyson still has, has his punch, punch of power, and um, it is going to be effective if but it's not going to be as effective as it's supposed to be with 10 ounce gloves. According to Jake Paul, Tyson was the one who wanted the match to be a professional one, and he's going to pay a hefty price for it. I just want to make it clear that Mike Tyson was the one who wanted it to be a pro fight. I said to Nikisa, if that's what Mike wants, then that's fine. But make sure you tell Mike that there's no holding back. Whatever, whatever happens, happens, and this is war now. If he puts me down, I can deal with that. But if I put him down, he needs to be the one making the decision on whether or not he can deal with that. I'm going in there, and now it's a pro fight. It's on my record, and I'm going to put him down. And if people are pissed about it, then watch soccer. While Paul seems confident going up against a 57-year-old legend, British boxing star Amir Khan believes he needs to be careful because an old lion is still a lion. Here's what Khan said, and I quote, I don't know how this fight is going to go. Is it really going to happen? It amazes me, and I am shocked. I've got Mike Tyson winning by knockout. Even though he's in his 50s, he's still a dangerous guy not to be messed with. Mike Tyson's former opponent, Roy Jones Jr., also believes that a professional fight against Tyson is extremely dangerous for Paul, who hasn't dealt with such ferocious power in his career. Yeah, with the, with the sense <laughs> of people like Evander Holyfield and Cruz, these yeah. guys are bigger and they can take it, but Jake Paul, I don't think he's going to be able to take that and might hit him on the chin <laughs> like that. We'll see, but it's going to be tough. Now, not everyone believes Tyson will shut Paul's lights out. In fact, many are against the idea of Tyson fighting Paul in a professional or any kind of bout. The reason is simple, the age difference between the two. For instance, Paul's rival Dylan Danis believes the YouTuber turned boxer is cherry picking beautiful opponents. Although he thinks the problem child will still lose, quote, he's 60, walks with a cane when he's not in a wheelchair. In reality, you beating him means nothing. Fight someone your age again, oh yeah, I forgot, you'll lose, lol. Boxing promoter Frank Warren believes the decision to sanction Paul versus Tyson as a pro fight is outright ridiculous. I'm a big fan of Jake Paul as a promoter and, and Nikita, he's, he's a, his business partner there. I mean, they're very smart operators and they obviously see this as a fight that will generate public interest and obviously money. But let's get it right, Mike Tyson's 58 years of age and he shouldn't be fighting, it's as simple as that. Um, if it was an exhibition, you'd get half away with that. But the fact that um, Texas, good old Texas, have um, <laughs> basically licensed the 58-year-old year to fight. I mean, yeah. you know, what, what does anybody need to say about that? Anyone with an ounce of brains knows what that, that, that is ridiculous. Ridiculous or not, the fight is set to make a record that may not be broken anytime soon. Unless, of course, Paul decides to fight someone older than Tyson. The remarkable 31-year age difference between these two fighters will establish a new milestone in professional boxing history, exceeding the previous record of a 24-year age gap set back in 1963. According to ESPN, the largest age disparity in the professional boxing match occurred between Archie Moore, aged 49, and Mike DiBiase, aged 25. 
Tyson's comeback to the ring at 57 years old signifies an extraordinary return for the boxing icon, considering his last professional bout took place at the age of 38. But two decades later, Tyson looks as sharp as ever. <laughs> Now, despite training like a maniac and being a former heavyweight champion with years of boxing experience under his belt, Tyson is the underdog heading into the fight against Paul. After rules of the fight were announced, various sports books posted odds with Paul being the favorite in almost every case. Paul is a negative 195 favorite at ESPN Bet, while Tyson is at a plus 150 underdog at the sportsbook. The YouTuber turned boxers odds initially started as low as a negative 230 at ESPN Bet, but they have been trending towards Tyson with each passing day. Paul is also favored at negative 180 at DraftKings. What do you guys think? Will Jake Paul knock Mike Tyson out or is he in for a rude awakening? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.